you you've been around the block a few times. We'll see you. And and with the new insurg the new the new civil unrest, you come from there. You was back then before, so you know what it looked like kind of back then. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between the civil rights unrest back then and the civil rights unrest now? Like, what did you notice that was hmm, it's a little bit different? The difference only the, the real difference is that the white folks can't do what they want to do like they did back then. Mm. They can just smack you upside the head. Nobody, police wouldn't do nothing. Now you can get them arrested. But the thing that they're doing it now, they're doing it. They hide it better, and they they do their thing. With legal legalization, mm. you understand, and, and, and people like that. That's how, that's how a lot of the racism is is is, is disputed, uh, put out there on racism. And then another thing, black folks don't do their end. Okay, they don't stand up for themselves. They put up with anything. Now I've seen more uh, uh, of black, not just blacks, any any anybody that's a minority doing more stuff to strengthen their view or their position in this life. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't have to take that mess. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And, and all that. And, and all black lives matter. I'm okay with black lives matter mm. to a point. You know, some things I'm not really that crazy about because I'm kind of old school. Mm. With certain things, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I think it's a good thing, you know, and stuff. But don't use it to go out here and cause carnage and chaos like those people did. Um, Oregon. Yeah, and all that. And just, just start mess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's supposed to be a peaceful demonstration, you coming out there doing some, some. There's always going to be some yogles, whether they black or white. Yeah. They're gonna come on the fringes and yeah. and, and yell stuff, stuff yeah. and do this and do and do all that dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the get the water heated up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're anarchists. They yeah. Want something to happen and get just just even get the police in there to come in there cracking heads. Yeah, because it started as a George Floyd thing. Right. Then it turned into a BLM turned into thing. something else. Yeah, and right, now it's right. Just, it's just, I don't know where it's at right now. Exactly. It's a mess. It's it's a mess. They yeah. just probably was a little bit more organized back then. When you look over to the Dr. King era, it was like legit structure. Yeah, it was. Now it was. it's just people just showing up. It, people just feel like they can do anything and it's okay. Nobody's got any boundaries. Nobody's got any morals. Nobody's got any nothing. Those type of people, because they just want to do chaos, and that's all they care about. The worse it is, the better it is. Yeah. You don't know who putting it out there. Could be somebody in D.C. putting it out there. Could be somebody somewhere putting it out there. You know, because there's people like that in D.C. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like I tell anybody. I tell tell anybody. The same demon, different face. When you see a demon that you recognize, that you've seen before. In a person, and they do stuff that's familiar, that's that same demon. Okay? Just a different vessel. Different vessel. Demons can occupy anybody, man or woman, don't matter. When they start acting acting up and doing stuff that's familiar, that's that demon. Uh, you understand? Yeah. Different face. Yeah, that, that, that's some deep stuff. They, they follow the same thing as before. You can almost call what they're about to do. Yeah, because demons follow a certain pattern. They're here for a certain reason. You know, you got some people that like to lie. Mm-hmm. The lying demon. You know what I'm saying? He, he lying. I'm just using the word demon as an example. Yeah. Some people might call it something else, a deity, whatever. Okay? But I use the word demon because of where I come from. Mm-hmm. Because of the bad people out there. Oh, yeah, big time. You know what I'm saying? And, you, and, and, and not just, you know, with women and men, as far as uh, the relationship thing, it's, it's just jacked up. Because... You know, uh, uh, women think that men, all they want is ass. And we do want that. <laughs> okay, don't, I'm not going to cross that shit. <laughs> okay, we want that. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't see you in the room. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But anyway, that all they want is ass, okay? But men want a good man, a decent man, wants a woman that's faithful, mm-hmm. wants to make good money. Want to drive the car he won't live in the house he wants. These chicks don't even don't even don't even know how to even look for that. They want some dude with a dingling hanging down to the floor out the door and, and feeling good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They think they in love. Yeah, I mean, hey, they they feel like that that's all they need until they gotta buy furniture. Yeah, and yeah. dude can't even produce a, a food stamp. 
<laughs> can't do nothing. Why you want a dude that can't do nothing? That can't produce? That don't make sense. I mean, it's, it's, it's more about the physical. If you look at it, you can go the same thing with dudes who are only interested in a woman's measurements, but she ain't got no occupation, no conversation, no nothing. She just, that's all she can do is show you a tail. That's, that's, when you go on these, these Instagrams, it's just pictures, booty shots. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like and you don't even get to hear their voice. They don't never say anything. It's yeah, just, they ain't got to say nothing. They got a booty. Brain is in the booty. They take a fart, all this sense go right out the damn window. <laughs> <laughs> just be done. <laughs> even more stupid. And that, that's mm-hmm. a fact, and it, that's why I say some things you have to, you have to take responsibility on, even with things in my past, is like my choosing mechanism was different. Yeah. I was choosing based on stupid stuff, and right. I was ending up with stupid results. Right. Exactly. But now it ain't just about, well, oh, she looks like A, B, C, D, F, G. It's like, I kind of got to hear what she's going to say. Oh, yeah. She got over the mouth, because she, she opened the mouth. And she say some crazy stuff. The damn wrench fall out of it. I'm I'm headed for the hills. That bitch ratchet. <laughs> okay. But she look good though. I'll do what I got to do, and then she go. <laughs> okay. So you saying you still would, would hit it just just with caution? If she look good. I'm gonna tear her ass out the frame. Shit, it's all good. I can't even do that. <laughs> I'm be real. If I if I if you I don't be need able to, to, but it's I, the converse. I just can't. Swallow the conversation. It's oh just, hell no! Ain't it's annoying good. to have that type of creature calling me. No, don't don't call me. Just just bend over. We could just, don't don't talk. Yeah, she's gonna have to call don't you, talk and text. Don't messages. even moan. You might moan ghetto. I, I, I ain't even trying to hear. <laughs> How do you <laughs> moan ghetto? I don't know, but I don't want to hear. Okay. <laughs> How you moan? I need uh, to hear a ghetto moan. I, I never uh, heard it. Uh, I heard it. I, know, uh, I, ain't trying, I ain't trying to hear it, okay? So, but we good, you know. But you know, it's, it's just like you got a you got a Stanley toolbox, okay? Every tool in there has a purpose, okay? All right, a Stanley toolbox, <laughs> okay? Full of tools. You got your you got your you got your saws, you got your hammers, you got your pliers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got some this little thing that that sucks stuff out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that could be handy. But anyway, you know stuff like that. You know? <laughs> but uh, you know, oh. you, you, you got a toolbox, and, and, and out here is a toolbox of people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For certain things, everything's for certain things. We're truck drivers. You don't worry about being uh, outdated in PC culture. Because when you, when you talk, it doesn't match the PC culture of now. Like I don't give a rat's ass about none of that. I can get on my PC or my tablet and do just as good as anybody else. Mm-hmm. If I need to know something, I got him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you you in bad shape is what you're telling me. No, I'm in good shape. Cause he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying, like right now, you, you may not have a huge platform. Let's say you got a platform as big as mine. Mm-hmm. And you may say something... And they could cancel you. Like they could, they could stop all your opportunities mm-hmm. just on you saying something like, "I don't like gay people," or, or "Women shouldn't do this," or, or you saying, "Or women, or, they're tools." Mm-hmm. Something like that. They would be like, "Well, we're not gonna deal with this person," and it'd be a big uproar. Like look, like Helen, Ellen, Ellen has gotten in trouble because they said that she's not nice at work. And I'm thinking, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, and I'm thinking she ain't gotta be nice. She's in business. Apparently, she does because. <laughs> It's a big deal that, oh, she's she's not nice and she doesn't even know some of the employees' names. And I'm thinking... Who the hell wants to try to know everybody's name of the day? Going How many people she got working there? I don't even you know. You ain't going to know everybody. It's business. Yeah, but that's the that's where this PC culture uh. is, is, is going. And people may opt out and say, I don't have to deal with it. But if you're dealing in media like I'm doing or Jay's doing, you kind of got to deal with it because it... it, it, it Google, Apple, they've they've adopted them, and it does affect your bottom line. Like, if you say the wrong, if you say, well, I don't agree with gay people, you're done. That's a wrap. I ain't got nothing against gay people. As long as they're doing their thing, and it don't affect me, I'm good. They do do them. They can be as gay as they want. They can run through the damn hallway here with pink slippers on and, and, and daisies in their hair. <laughs> I don't give a damn. 
I'm going to look at them like, God damn, that's a fool right there. <laughs> okay? That's it. Okay? It doesn't affect me. Okay? It doesn't affect my bottom line. It doesn't affect me going to work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, third, it doesn't affect me nowhere. All that other stuff, the reason why they do that, because they know the, the heartbeat of the people, of the young people, where they're coming from right now. Everything's a feeling thing. Mm. And that's where they get that from. I don't care nothing about none of that because I'm like this. If you tell them say something to me a certain way, I'm gonna tell you like it is. Now, you might can beat my ass, but you're gonna have a hard time motherfucking doing it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna let you know I was there. I don't care nothing about that. So you ain't interested in the whole PC culture? That's well, I don't give a rat's behind about that because they feeding on the fears and the empathy of the people of the young people. And the young people ain't got no guidance. They don't, they, they don't, not all young people. Some of them been raised right, had good parents and stuff like that. Okay, that's not all young people. I don't want to put all young people out there. But the ones that I'm talking about. That's just mad at everything for all reasons. Just, just mad for no reason. They with a dude that ain't hitting on two cents. Pants hanging down by, his, and by the back of his knees. He looking like a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? And ain't got two pennies to rub together. A car. How you gonna be a drug dealer? Ain't got no damn car. <laughs> he working on the car, huh? You no, know, he been working on the car for years. <laughs> and still walking. And you a drug dealer. <laughs> and you living in somebody else's house. You a drug dealer from back in my time. You had a drug dealer. You had a crib. You had a car. You were rolling. You on the block doing your thing. And these, these dudes are pitiful. And it's, it, it's stupid for them to be drug dealers because, like you said, back then they had money. Now it ain't that much money in doing that. And this stuff done went 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 legal. The weed. Yeah, well, where we be at out west, we go legal. It's everything. You, you smoke. It's going to recreation. It's going to. It's, it's it's a matter of time. Washington D.C. right now yeah. is legal. In it's Maryland, a it's, um, uh, it's, it's a matter of time. It's decriminalized. Yeah. Virginia ain't going for nothing. There. <laughs> not yet, at least. No, they they going they going it's going to happen. It's just not going to happen quickly. Yeah. It's decriminalized here. Yeah. Does it go on your record? Because I mean, it, that to me, that ain't decriminalized. If it goes on your on your record of drug charge, that affects you getting a job. Y'all better read between the lines. You go, it may be whatever they say here, but you go to Metro and they're going to be like, nah, I'm good on that. You, you can crack it. So, I mean, <laughs> don't don't get it twisted out here because the private companies don't got to hire you. Depending no, on they don't have on. to hire you. That, that's, 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 that's the choice. If you go in there and test positive, yeah. You're done. I don't want to buy driving the bus high or driving the truck that high. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want you out there. Okay. But what you do as an individual and, and stuff at your house or whatever you do and, and everything, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? If, if, you, if the drug is controlling you, then you're out of gas anyway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you can control the drug and what you're doing and, and it doesn't get you in trouble and stuff like that, do you. You going to uh, you gonna vote this season? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You going to vote? Oh, yeah. I usually vote every time. Mm. So, I mean, we... we you you making America great again? I don't give a damn about that other shit that that bullshit he talking. <laughs> that damn he, he's something he's mentally done. Just listen to him. Something wrong. Yeah, he want that sharp from the beginning. No, no, but sharp as a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, well, you going the other way? There ain't no wrong there. But this is my father, people. I um, I can't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> He just, he says what he wants to say. I have no way of stopping him from saying certain things. Um, he's not agreeing with PC culture. He's not going to participate in it. I, nope. I'll, keep, I'll keep talking to him and let him know certain things. He can't say no more. Um, but it's a, work in, it's a work in progress. All the day long. All, all day long. Like, I didn't know you couldn't say retarded no more. Apparently, you can't say retarded no more. That's, that's like as bad as saying the N-word, apparently. Okay, well, you know what? If it comes up, it's going to get said. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> so you no, can't okay. say that. No, okay. You have to say, um, what is it? Mentally challenged. Yeah, mentally yeah, challenged. Yeah, I, I get all the PC bull, you know, and everything yeah, because yeah. somebody hurt somebody's feelings. Well, maybe if you hurt their feelings, maybe they'll act right. 
I don't think it works like that with slow people. Man. Mm-hmm. I mean, you never like, know. They get their feelings hurt enough, they might get it like that. I, well, well, sure, I might need to stop being a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> Yo, we put this on your channel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we gonna have to put this on your channel, bro. Like, oh, they gonna make it to the baby channel. I don't, know, um, I don't know why they tripping because it's the same thing that oh, most people think it anyway. So it is what it is. True. true. It's what they think it. It's just a PC call. Another one you nah, can't. I don't care about that. Man. You can't. That's call. why my channel. I don't even do my. I do. I do my. Do my. My uh, things every now and mm-hmm. then. You know what I'm saying? But you know all that other stuff. I, I don't. I don't want to be feathered by that. You, you also can't say female anymore. Female. It's it's uh it's offensive to someone. Oh, okay. They into that. Oh, oh, oh every sex is the same thing. Some could be into that. Some could think it's like referring to, you know, it's like too clinical, like referring to a dog, like oh, female. Oh, I guess I call him a bitch then. I, I, <laughs> I don't think that's the direction they're going in. I don't uh, care because that's what's going in from coming out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think that's the direction they're going They'll in. They'll be all right. They'll heal. Put a Band-Aid on it some spray. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, this uh, don't do drugs. Uh, be happy. Try your hardest. Um <laughs> I'm going to um, get some more stuff on here. I got to make sure this goes onto the computer and then I'll do another interview. And um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sub to the channel if you're not, if you're not um, offended. <laughs> hit They're the not. Like, hit the like button. Please comment at the bottom on everything my father say. I would love to hear what y'all think and if I can send it to him and be like, see, you're an asshole. I am. <laughs> True to this, not new to this. And we'll go from there. What's your channel? What's the name of your channel, Pop? Papa Bear. Papa Bear. At YouTube. Link will be under all the videos with uh, Papa Bear for you to go to the sub. I haven't got him onto the podcast yet. I got Jay here. I'm going to try to work it in there. But after Jay hearing this, I don't know if I'm going to get it ran through. <laughs> We're going to definitely give it a shot. <laughs> don't do drugs. I'm out of five thousand. Go to my new Instagram, which is my life, my Nikon. The other one got to visceral. Stay celibate. Don't drink alcohol. I'm gone.